The Negev Desert provides Israel with many geological resources. The first Prime Minister of Israel, David Ben-Gurion, understood that despite appearances, the Negev had potential. The state had to overcome the desert, otherwise the desert would overcome the state. He decided to realize the desert's potential. Today the effort is ongoing. A reserve has been created to bring together the wild animals already mentioned in the Bible or under threat of extinction. This is how the Arabian onyx comes to be living alongside the onaga, a wild donkey. This one always arrives on tiptoe, the ostrich. Everyone knows it can run very fast, but it is not widely known that it is very, very curious. Birds of prey are also part of the fauna of the Negev. The Egyptian vulture terrifies the fennec, the smallest species of fox. The jackal is on the prowl and is up to no good. Even the caracal keeps its distance. The sand rat keeps busy, while the hyena has found a shady spot for a siesta. The leopard. The Negev covers over 60% of the country, but only a small percentage of Israel's population live there. Sandstorms are responsible for the severe erosion which has created arches in the mountains and has carved out King Solomon's pillars from a monumental sandstone cliff. Despite the difficult conditions, man has prospected in the Negev to exploit its riches. The ancient Egyptians, with their rudimentary tools, were already extracting copper ore from here. In the extreme south of the country, political frontiers come together. Egypt, Jordan and Israel meet on the edge of the Sinai. This is a strategically sensitive region. The armies keep an eye on each other's positions. <laughs> 